Throw the potatoes in there. Time to check some of these potatoes. This is a chili loaded campfire baked potato. In this week's video, we're going to share a little about fire lighting and gathering materials. Then we will be cooking over campfire making chili loaded baked potatoes. So to start a fire, you need three things. You need fuel, and you need oxygen, which is all around, and you need ignition, spark, heat. The first thing I like to do in lighting a fire is I like to make a platform to put my tinder on. couple things going on here. The tinder, which I'm using uh, cotton balls with Vaseline on them. We have kindling, which is sticks roughly pencil size or finger size in thickness. Then we have fuel. That's anything bigger than that. I like to place my tinder on my platform with my kindling just beside it. I like to have everything ready to go beforehand. A good pile of kindling, a good pile of fuel, ready to go. I like to use a ferrocium rod to start the fire. It gives sparks, not an open flame, it gives sparks. Some people will use a knife, they'll use the blade of their knife on their rod. I would not recommend that. Uh, I like to use, there's a notch on my knife at the end, I like to use that. And some people will slide their knife down. I like to keep the knife in one place and pull the rod across. And we have ignition. You want to somewhat quickly get your other kindling on. You don't want to smother it, but at the same time you don't want to go so slow that you burn up your tinder and lose the flame. Once your flames are going good and strong, I just put the rest of my kindling on. It isn't gonna go out at this point. It'll kind of bog down a little bit, but it will come back. See, I had more kindling than what I needed, but it's always good to have more than what you need rather than uh, need it and not have it. A lot of times when people have trouble starting fires, it's because they weren't properly prepared. They didn't have enough kindling or fuel. Just want to give a quick reminder that we do put out new videos every Friday morning. If you appreciate these videos, please share them with your friends and hit like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that already. Yeah, so on these little hikes, I like to just kind of look at things and uh, 
I guess just kind of identify things as I go. For example, a lot of dead wood here. That'd be good for fire lighting if it was needful. Here's a tree with bark coming off. Another tree. Yeah, bark coming off of those would be good for our fire lighting. Oh, hey, here's something. Conifer trees always have dead branches. That's pine trees and whatever. Anything that produces a cone. Always have dead branches near the bottom. Yeah, this stuff's great for fire lighting. It's always dry. Always. Basically. Uh, ready for fire lighting. So if you're out somewhere and need uh, light a fire, I guess, you know, you see a conifer tree, you know, there's always dead branches at the bottom and they're always pretty dry and good for fire lighting. There's another one. That tree is still alive. Just looks dead down here. Up top, very much alive. And just like I was saying earlier, check out these trees at the bottoms. It's all dead branches. Just look up. They're very much alive at the tops. Good place for collecting firewood. Bottoms of these trees. They're always dry, good tinder, and fuel source too. Now that we've talked about fire lighting, let's get into making dinner. We're having chili loaded campfire baked potatoes. Well, if you're gonna cook over a campfire, first thing you need is a campfire. <laughs> Got a little teepee fire going on. Got some newspaper underneath. Just strike some matches and light the paper. Pretty simple. So for what we're doing, we got to let it burn down to coals. We just need a good bed of coals to cook on. We don't want big open flames. All right, well, the kindling's starting to catch, so we're putting on some bigger stuff. All right, we've got some good coals here. We're going to put our potatoes in. So we're going to spread those out. Throw the potatoes in there. Cover them up with coals. So these are whole potatoes. We just poked them with a fork, rubbed uh, butter and salt on them, then wrapped them in the foil. I'm never really sure how long they actually take. It's anywhere from around 45 minutes to an hour, typically. So I'm gonna check them about half an hour and then go from there. So the ash over top helps insulate them a bit. You don't want them to cook too fast. You don't want big roaring flames, just coals and some ash over top. Time to check some of these potatoes. Time to check one of these potatoes, see how they're doing. Ooh, that is hot. Oh yeah, that's done. The skin's just peeling. So easy. Oh yeah. 
that one it just goes all the way through it is definitely done I totally forgot about these they've actually been on here for a full hour <laughs> All right, now we just need our, wait for our chili to get warmed up. All right, start out with my potato. Oh yeah, that's nice and done. I'm gonna cut that thing open. All right, dumping that homemade chili right on top. So that's a homemade chili. All we had to do was warm it up. Put it right on top of that potato. Need a little sour cream on that. Mix that all in. Can't hardly find the potato in there now. It's in there. This is a chili loaded campfire baked potato. Y'all liking yours? Mm -hmm. You're all so quiet. They're so quiet because it's that good. I can't pat myself on the back. My wife made the chili. All I did was bake the potatoes. Everybody helped out on this and it turned out great. So we rubbed the potatoes with butter and salt before we put them in the foil. And it was quite a bit of butter, so they're a little bit fried on the skins. You like baked potato? Cook it in the coals of a campfire, put some chili on it. It's good. It's a simple but excellent campfire meal. All right, well, I think we're going to end the video here because it's dark. I don't know if you can even see me on here. <laughs> see you on the next one. Now that we've talked... We're having campfire loaded chili mashed potatoes. Okay. Now that we're talking turkey, let's go cook the chicken. Chili loaded campfire baked potatoes. Baked, 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 not mashed. And you're not staring at the paper, are you? No. Okay. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and hit that like button if you haven't done so already. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every week, every Friday morning. And if you'd like to receive notifications when we do upload the next video, hit that notification bell. And check out our channel. We have several videos just like this one or very similar. We do various things, including hiking, biking, boating, fishing, builds of various kinds, mostly outdoor activities. Some homesteading is thrown in there as well. This channel is for the experience. We do these things for the experience of doing them and to show others how you can do it too. We try to be fun and entertaining while being educational all at the same time. Sometimes these experiences are done for the first time and other times they're things that we do all the time. Sometimes we do things just for the fun of doing it. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one.